as teachers, we want to make our classes as engaging as possible. In a face-to-face -face classroom setup, it's very doable. You can be creative and resourceful with your activities. But now that we are shifting to virtual classrooms, how can we better engage our students? Hi there, I am Teacher Jelly. Ang inyong teacher alam lingkod. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the notification bell. Let's connect outside YouTube. You can also follow me on my Instagram, Facebook page, and TikTok account. In this video, I'll show you how to make interactive activities for your online classes. I'm gonna teach you how to make EDB files on Classic. Let's go! To start, click the class in icon on your computer. Log in your account. Once logged in, this is what you're gonna see. I want you to focus on the lower left corner where you can see these buttons. Click the Blackboard Editor icon. This is what it looks like inside the Blackboard Editor. Blackboard Editor is a room where you can prepare your instructional materials ahead of time, prior to the class time, so you won't have to do it last minute. No need to cram. As mentioned in my introduction, I'll teach you how you can prepare your very own interactive EDB files. But here are a few considerations before making an EDB file. First, what is your lesson? And second, what objective would you like to target with this activity? Because activities should match the competency. So if your competency, for example, is identifying the parts of the digestive system, then your activity should be about identifying parts. Your activity should always be aligned with your competency. Okay, for the first example, say our topic is about body parts. Now, the first thing that you're gonna do is to search for a good quality image with no background. Teacher Jelly, can we use pictures with background? Sure, but I would say it wouldn't look that good. Go to Google, sorry about some Gipsal. <laughs> Type the image that you need. In case you can find a real good image with no background, simply save the image on your computer. Then go to remove.bg. Here, we are going to upload our image and then it will automatically um, convert it into an image with no background. And ta-da! No more background. Back to the Blackboard Editor. Hover your mouse on this mini toolbox. This toolbox, guys, has a lot of cool features that will 100% make your classes more engaging. And I'll be discussing more features on my future videos. Click this load image icon. Yay! Now we got this cute baby boy. Next step, add lines and boxes. I'm just gonna copy and paste the box. Okay, now we're done with the first example. How are you going to save this? Hover your mouse on the toolbox again. And this time, click the Save Blackboard Writing icon. Save to Cloud Disk. So you have here two options, right? Save to Local and Save to Cloud Disk. If, if you're going to click Local, it will be saved on your computer. I really suggest that you save it on your cloud disk so that it will be um, easier for you to access it during your class time. Save it. Let's check if it has been successfully saved. Click Cloud Disk. Ta-da! Once you open this file on your class time, you're gonna have to authorize your students so they can write on the board. Done with the first example. On to our next example, 
you just have to follow the same steps that we did just repeat all the things that we did there so first you're just gonna have to find good images good pictures if you can't find a good image with no background upload that picture on remove that BG and download it then upload the images to the blackboard repeat the same process here I'm planning to make an interactive activity with Elsa from Frozen as my main character in this activity the student will have to answer correctly before Elsa can move one step forward the goal is to help Elsa go back to her castle obviously you can do variations here you can change the character or you can modify and change the tasks itself Today my lesson is about colors, so that's gonna be my task. The student should be able to say and spell the color that is being encircled on the board. If the student gives the correct answer, then he or she can move Elsa one step forward. Additionally, you can give extra rewards to your students, like medals that they can customize. In that way, it's more personal and more fun to do for them. Last example is inspired by one of my most favorite childhood board games. It is called Snakes and Ladders. Kung naglaro kayo nito dati ay magingay sa comment section. So we just had to search for snakes and ladders board on Google. Although what I got was incomplete, but <laughs> never mind that. The dice guys is actually one of the features that you can freely use here in class in. To access that, simply go to the mini toolbox again and then select dice. There are a lot more interactive um, tools and features here that I'm gonna discuss on my next videos. Here, students will use their own pictures as their game piece. And they can take turns in rolling the dice and in identifying the part of the digestive system. That's it. I hope you learned something from the three examples that I've shown you. Definitely, you can do more and you can do better. But always keep in mind that um, interactive activity should always be aligned with the targets of your lesson. If you have more questions about class in's functions and features, feel free to comment below.
will be more than willing to answer your queries. I'll see you again, syempre! Bye-bye! Write a thesis statement. Thesis statement is very important when writing an essay. And you simply have to follow this super easy formula. Topic plus claim plus three points. For example, Marvin Fohas is the best TikTok comedian for he makes relatable videos, creates funny pickup lines, and publishes quality contents. It's your turn!